Justin Card all around, you know. And what was weird, man, is like Dana White said that like, oh, it's total bullshit that Mark Zuckerberg rented out the entire da 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 da. And then you see it's just Mike Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, his wife, and like what some friends and staff there, Facebook and shit like that. So something was going on there, right? And the controversy, and this is the one that I like to believe and at least buy into, right? Not that I do believe it, but like if I wanted one of them to be true, this would be it. And I think I need to give it a reason or like a justification because otherwise it's just weird to me that he's there doing that. Like the fact that we're letting billionaires just rent out an event and go watch it, right? That's normally on display to the public and gets aired in everybody's houses like that seems that's just weird to me i don't know why it just doesn't sit right so i like to believe that there's some sort of ulterior motive to this right and what i like to think is that this tweet that i saw i can't remember who said it i wish i could like give them credit but i like to believe that what they're doing is trying to figure out how to like simulate what it would be like to be there witnessing the fights in person and I think that when you listen to Mark Zuckerberg talk about these glasses and all this AI stuff and the metaverse and all this, right, it would make sense that he would want to start bringing sports to you in that way, right, like through these glasses or something so that you can put them on and sit there and watch a UFC fight and feel what it would be like to be cage side. Is that true? Fuck, I don't know. I hope so. I hope that's the reason that he would be there. It would kind of add up, right? It would make sense that this is like a very intimate sport. The UFC would be looking for a reason to do business with somebody like Facebook, right? Or Meta. There's no reason not to. They're already like, and Dana White is a businessman at the end of the day. So if he thinks it's going to be good for business, why would they not do something like this? So you have to wonder if those kind of talks are coming down the line and if this is going to be a real possibility in five or 10 years, right? Like if you can just sit in your living room and put on glasses and feel like you're cage sad watching a fight, are you ever going to put on the ESPN app? I mean, fuck, who knows what direction this goes. But like the fact that Zuckerberg is so interested in the UFC, I think is actually going to be a good thing in the future. And if he gets involved with his money and stuff, we could be looking at the UFC living on the bleeding edge of some of this technological stuff and some of these new viewing experiences for people like us who don't get to go to all these fucking events and sit cage sad, right? And who kind of want that experience. I got to be honest with you. I would 100% do it. If you told, why not? I'm already watching it on a fucking screen. Why not put glasses on and feel like I'm there, right? And granted... There is sometimes like something about just kicking back and watching fights on TV. Like I do enjoy that aspect of it. And I actually think that a lot of the times like those cam reviews that you get from multiple different perspectives and stuff like that are awesome. But man, if you could, and you got to wonder what the cost of it's going to be. It'll probably be some subscription and like da, 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 right? Who knows? But man, makes you wonder why he's so interested in everything right above the surface level. Oh, I like MMA and I'm here to witness an event. You'd like to think that there's something deeper going on, and if not, it's kind of weird that he just rented the fucking event out. (laughs) That's my opinion. Um, But anyway, he's there, right? And that's kind of like a big talk of one of the things going on. Mackenzie Dern said she heard that he rented it out during the press conference. Dana White says it's BS, but then Mark Zuckerberg's there. And if he didn't rent it, I don't know. Maybe it was just a favor. Who the fuck knows? But anyway, we'll see. What's up, guys? This was clipped from episode 77 of the podcast where we just kind of recapped the fights over the weekend that were headlined by Dern and uh, Yan Xiaonan. Uh, we talked a little bit about Jake Paul, a whole bunch of different shit, right? So if you guys want to check out the full episode, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, if you guys made your way here and enjoy the content, do me a favor, uh, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you thought down in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in.